Hey, this is Mike. Thank you so much for choosing this video. Today I'm in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina, visiting Sparks Toyota. And I'm checking out a 2018 Toyota Corolla in the LE trim level. So let's go ahead and check it out. The name of this color is Barcelona Red. Looking pretty nice. The sun shining on it. Also the gloss black accents there in the front. Let's take a look at those. The whole center portion has that gloss black, little portion there on the end, and then there on the grill. The headlights are powered by LEDs and a projector housing for your high and your low beams. This Corolla is sitting on 205-55 Michelin tires wrapped around 16 inch steel wheels with hubcaps. It also has ventilated disc brakes in the front and drum brakes in the back. So let's look here at the profile. You notice around the windows, it also has the black, but this is in a matte black, not a gloss like the front. This is what the key looks like. It's a pretty traditional key, but it does have some useful buttons. Lock and unlock the doors, unlock the trunk, and a panic button here. Also has a Toyota emblem on the other side. Let's go ahead and push the panic button and see what happens. So it basically just beeps the horn, flashes the lights. Here's the inside of the passenger side door. Checking it out. So it has mostly black, but it does have that tan um, color here, which is a lot throughout the vehicle. All right, so we have soft to the touch around your arm, basically like a cloth with the contrast stitching in a French design there. And it has a pocket right here, and you notice it's kind of wide open so you can access it easy from the top. There's your threshold, and there's your cloth seats. It has a little bit of a pattern there in the center, and then more of a cloth texture, normal cloth texture there on the ends. Manually adjusted seats, by the way. Plenty of legroom. Extremely impressive amount of legroom in this vehicle. Wouldn't be able to tell by looking at it from the outside how much room it has here in the front. All right, soft to the touch dash. Let's take a look at the glove compartment. Smooth plastic on the inside and pretty good size. Here's the inside of the rear door. And soft to the touch here around your arm, just here on the uh, it's a cloth portion here and right there around your arm. You have more of a forward pocket bottle holder and little pocket there. Cloth seats back here and does have the latch system for car seats. Center armrest with cup holders. You can fit three people back here. And check it out. There's no hump in the center. I mean, it's a very, very slight little bump, but nothing really. To speak of and so you have plenty of leg room back here even with the front seats back i mean they have the back seat drivers will be very comfortable okay looking at the back of the vehicle has the led third brake light right there single exhaust here on the right side and a simulated carbon fiber back here which is pretty neat I don't know if you can see that backup cameras in the almost the very center position here so let's go ahead and open up the trunk now there's no button to push to open up the trunk you use the key or there's a lever inside the vehicle. So let's go ahead and push and hold it. There we go. Pops up to that position. 
and you lift it up just to kind of show you under here because one time I didn't see it on a vehicle but you can see there's no button under here okay so here's your trunk space and pretty good amount of space back here the seats fold down in a 60 40 split so right there so you can fold down one of the other so you can maintain some passenger space if you want to while adding to your cargo space or you can just have a whole bunch of cargo space when you need it this lifts up there's your tools your jack and your spare tire all under here fuel doors on the driver's side and it's locking there it is and it has a pretty traditional cap with a little tether and a little place to put the cap while you're pumping gas let's go ahead and start it up here's the floorboard in front of the driver's seat now you notice that the uh, floor mat, which is not in place right now, hooks in place. There's little hooks right there to snap it in place. There's your accelerator and brake pedal and a footrest here on the left side. Let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. To open the hood, there's a latch, a little tiny bit to the right of center. Just lift it up and you lift up the hood manually. Like so there's the latch right there. Um, there does require a prop to hold the hood up right there. When placing the prop, there's actually two places, here and here. Now this place right here is a little bit lower position for the prop to go to increase the height of the hood. Um, but it does have a little spacer to remind you uh, which one you plan on using. Uh, you just leave it open. Okay, let's look at the engine bay here. So it does have some insulation there on the firewall. And it looks like the strut towers are braced in the back a little bit. There's your battery here in the front. Okay, so this one is a uh, four-cylinder engine. And it's covered up a little bit with plastic, but you can kind of see the little bit of engine here. So it's a four-cylinder with the exhaust in the back, channeling the heat out and underneath the vehicle and the intake here on the front. It's a 1.8 liter, four cylinder engine with variable valve timing. And it's paired to a CVT automatic transmission, continuously variable transmission. The inside of the driver's doors, just like the other side, except for it has a few more bet buttons. Check it out, the, uh, the driver has a one touch automatic window, but everybody else is stuck with out it so the driver special in this case i suppose here's your door lock controls and there's my water in the water bottle holder there's your threshold now the driver is special because they have manually adjusted seats but they have the height adjuster here You adjust the side mirrors right here. You just pick a side and adjust it with this pad. And then there's this dimmer switch for the interior gauges. It has a tilt and a telescoping steering column. So you can lock it in place like so. Okay, let's take a look here on the inside and looking really nice. Really impressive looking touchscreen console here. Plenty of leg room, knee room all that i'm six feet tall just to give you a reference here i have the seat all the way back and probably i need to pull it up slightly um, just because of the leg room it's a little bit further back than what i would normally drive in i suppose okay so let's look at the steering wheel it's a synthetic steering wheel with a simulated leather texturing down here but over here it has a different type of kind of sporty texturing little grip on the top so your Bluetooth controls for answering and hang out, hanging up calls are here voice recognition now you have a display button for the center screen which we'll get to that in a minute 
Now your cruise control is down here, so the Toyota's had this there for a long time. You turn it on by push that button, pushing that button, you set it by pushing it down, resume going up and pulling it in to cancel, okay? So turn it on, set, resume, cancel, like so. Now once you have it turned on, you ha this one actually has the radar adaptive cruise control, so it'll say radar ready. So this button right here can adjust the distance between you and the vehicle in front of you um, by doing that number. So I think that's car lengths or just a visual representation of distance between you and the vehicle in front of you. Now you also have a lane departure alert system with the ability to steer the vehicle back in your lane um, if you steer out. So if you have that feature on, it will help you maintain your lane even to the point where it's actually gonna turn the steering wheel, which is pretty interesting. Okay, so on this side is your volume for your radio, tuned through the audio tracks or the, your presets on your radio, and then your audio source, your mode, basically. You know, like AM, FM, um, CD player, that kind of thing. Windshield wiper controls are here on the right, and on the left is your turn signal with your headlights. Now you can turn off the daytime running lights, or you can have automatic parking light, and then there's your headlights. Okay, so check it out it has a blue dials and looking pretty nice with the rpms on the left with the engine coolant temperature and on the right side is your speedometer with your fuel gauge here in the center is a screen that's kind of uh kind of retro looking but it does act and there's not a ton of information here but you can get some additional information so it has the outside temperature it's showing the radar ready it also shows those lines okay so the lane departure alert is turned on when those lines are there. When they're off, they're turned off. And then the um, cruise control, little green indicator, when I turn it off, it disappears. But if I push this display button right here, it's going to cycle through and I can just get some more information. Average miles per gallon, distance to empty, um, average speed, elapsed time. And then I can go into the settings and adjust what I want. So look at it. it has a, a digital clock that's separate from the screen which i think is pretty good because um you don't have to you know right where to look to, to the, see the time you don't have to look through a bunch of information here on the screen to locate this the clock so it's separate it's easy to adjust it has the hour and minute hands there so i think that's fantastic okay so down here is your touch screen and it has some soft touch buttons here on the ends it has a physical volume knob and tune through the stations what people are familiar with and you have the, you know, these quick access buttons right here. So audio, this is the audio screen right now. So what's, it's on FM. Here's your presets down here. You can adjust the sound and all, and get go to a station list. You can also go to an audio source, AM, FM, CD player, USB, um, Bluetooth audio, and auxiliary inputs. These are all the different ways you can play music through the sound system. The CD is actually up here, CD drive or CD player. Kind of surprised that a 2018 model has a CD player, but you know, I guess some people still use CDs and they've been obsolete for a long time, but people still use obsolete stuff all the time. All right, okay, so down here is your climate control. So you have your temperature and it's pretty cool. It's really easy to just kind of bump these little bars up and down to adjust. So you get your fan speed, your temperature, where you want the air to blow. Then you have recirculate the air or turn on your air conditioning. Front and rear defrosters, and you can turn everything on automatic. You just set the temperature and let it do its thing, or you can just turn everything off if you want to. 12 volt power supply, and this is where you'll find your USB and auxiliary inputs. A little storage pocket right there. Just kind of put your cell phone or whatever right in that area. Okay, so here's your shifter. Let's go ahead and put it in reverse. Now this, the way the shifter is that you have to follow a certain path. You see, you go over to the right and then down, and then that's neutral. I mean, that's uh, reverse. So once I put it in reverse, you have the backup camera that pops up here with the static guidelines there in the center. Continuing down, there's neutral, drive. Then you go into sport mode if you want, and this will give you more performance uh, over fuel economy. And you can also drop it down into the like engine braking. Since this has a, C, a CVT transmission, it doesn't have 
gears per se, but it does have speed ratios instead of gear ratios, which are basically the same thing. So if you need some engine braking, you can, you know, put it down in this area. And that's good for like going down a hill and you need to um, use the engine to slow you down. If you're not familiar, your traction control, you can turn that off if you need to spin tires. Default is on, but this is typically if you're stuck in the snow or mud, um, you can go ahead and spin your way out or, or something like that. But uh, that's just the only, really the only reason I could think of you'd want to turn that off. And then there's a handbrake, parking brake. Cup holders are here. Pretty good size too. And this little center portion is adjustable. So you can lift it up and you can put it in that position or whatever has these different places where you can put it or you could just take it out completely and open up this whole area and you notice this part is a little bit deeper than that part so it depends on what cups you're going to use but i thought that was pretty versatile um, especially since you can open it up and has this wide area put whatever you want in there you don't have to just use it for a cup holder okay so here's the uh, armrest and it's a fabric line you know fabric covered soft to the touch it does bottom out um, but it is soft on the surface. Now it has two portions. Um, you have a smaller portion. There's actually two buttons up here. S smaller, thinner button and thicker button. So the thinner button will open up this portion right here. Just a little small thing to put some stuff. And then the larger button gives you the larger compartment. So it goes way down, way down in there. Of course the camera doesn't like to focus on felt. So this is like a little felt piece at the very bottom. Okay, uh, the rear view mirror has a manual day and night mode. You have tap lights up here. You can turn on all your interior lights or have them turn on with the door. Your visors have mirrors and lights. So as I open this up, the little light turns on. All right, visibility in the back looks to be pretty good. Um, headrest getting away a little bit, but not not bad overall. Okay, so there you have it, 2018 Toyota Corolla at Sparks Toyota. Thank you to Sparks Toyota for allowing me to show off an awesome vehicle. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.